Welcome once again to our YouTube channel, uh, Admats Plus Maths. We are now starting another chapter in our journey towards additional mathematics. And we are now going to discuss the lesson differentiation. And I'll start with the lesson differentiation of power functions. When you say power functions, these are x or these are values of y in terms of x with a power okay so for example this one x to the power of 5 okay if this is equated to y then it will become y is equal to x power of 5 what will be the differentiation of x power of 5 okay there will be a rule that will be given so the rule says if y is equal to x power of n, okay, then dy over dx. But by the way, what does it mean by dy over dx? dy over dx is equivalent to the derivative of that function. So the derivative of the function is equivalent to multiply the x, okay, to the power of n minus 1 to the value of the n. What is that n? It is the index. Okay? So, what are we going to do with problems like this? Let's go first with letter A. Letter A, let's start with the basic one. x power of 5. So, it says differentiate with respect to x. So, it means the derivative of x power of 5. Okay, by the way, when you want to give the differentiate or derivative of a certain uh, expression in terms of x, you don't write dy over dx because there is no y given. Okay, it should be this one will be d over dx. Okay, of x power of 5 is equivalent to, okay, so it's just d over dx, okay, so what does it equi equivalent to, okay, what will be the equivalent value of this deriv derivative of x power of 5, it will just be get the index, which is in other terms exponent, get the index will be 5 okay times x okay then that 5 you bring in there then you subtract 1 so the d over dx of x to the power of 5 will now be equal to 5x to the power of 4 this will now be the answer Next, how about letter B? D over dx of 1 over x cubed is the same as D over dx of x to the power of negative 3. Remember that, okay, one of your rules in mathematics is that, or the loss of indices, by the way. 1 over a to the power of n is equivalent to a to the power of negative n. Okay? It is very important to recall all these laws because remember mathematics is an induction method. So, whatever you have learned before, you might be applying it now. Okay? So, the loss of indices. Next. How are we going to do this? So, it's just basically equals to get the index which is negative 3. So, negative 3. Okay, multiply it with the x to the power of negative 3 minus 1. Thus, it will now be equal to negative 3 x to the power of negative 4. Which is also, I can actually leave my answer like this. But I want to make it a little bit 
look nice. So it will become negative 3 over x power of 4. Okay, this will be our answer. How about this one? Remember, square root of x. Okay, there's another law. It says n root of a is always equivalent to a to the power of 1 over n. Okay, and remember, this, even if I don't put any number here, this is equivalent to 2. The number n there, or the n there, is always 2. Now, it, this will become d over dx of x to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, since the n there is 2. Okay, do we have an n in the square root that or the root okay or a third by the way third in cambridge term it says third okay so on the third can i use one it cannot be okay because it will just be one over one okay so always if you don't see a number over here that means square root square means two okay Square root means the index of that third is 2. Okay? So it is equivalent to... Okay. So the derivative of x to the power of 1 half will now become 1 half times x to the power of 1 half minus 1. Okay? Thus, it is equivalent now to 1 half times x to the power of negative 1 half. Okay, and this will be equivalent to, okay, I'll just do it step by step so that you don't get confused. One half. Okay, then I'll bring in that x to the power of negative one half below x to the power of one half. Okay, so it's now on the, I brought it to the denominator. So it will now become one over two x to the power of one half which is now equivalent to 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay? But remember, I don't need to go through all this. I can leave my answer like this. Okay? In derivative, okay, it's okay to leave it like that. Okay? By the way, this one, uh, sometimes it's not really acceptable in basic mathematics. But in uh, differentiation and integration, it's still uh, acceptable. Okay? There. Next, how about letter D? We don't have any X. So do we have anything that we can uh, derive? Uh, we can differentiate? Actually, if you are going to write 3 in terms of x, it will become 3x to the power of 0. Remember, x to the power of 0 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Okay? So, it is equivalent to 3 times 0 is... Okay, this index will be here. 3 times 0. Then, x to the power of 0 minus 1 is equivalent to, remember, x to the power of negative 1 is 1 over x. But you multiply it to 0, it will still be 0. Times 3, it still be 0. So the answer here is 0. Okay? This is the basic concept about differentiation of power functions. I hope you have learned something today, even if it's just a very basic one. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press that bell button to be updated with our new videos.